All right, finally, the last update of this uh, alpha is, I think, update 59. So this is alpha 9, I think. I'll put a correction later. But yeah, so gearing up to get into rot wieners. Um, we got some new stuff. But first off, let's check out the new guns. These are Czechoslovakian. What is this? The VZ-58. Okay. So they're different ones of them. Let's uh, try them out. This one has the, um, you know, wood furniture, full stock. Pretty nice. This on to full auto, and uh, let's try it out. Huh. Can you, uh, no tactical reload? Okay. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. This is the same one, but with a folding stock. Pretty cool. Same, same dealy, you know. Charge it. I like the, uh, the shells ejecting from the top there. That's pretty nice. Let's put two hands on this thing. A little rain of shells there for you. Okay. Uh, what else we got? This is a, um, is this? Not a VZ-58 Custom, no. This is the, the carbine? The Sport, which is, uh, if I remember the video, it's basically a um, civilian version of these weapons. So it basically only fires in semi-auto. Oh yeah, and I forgot. These also can use triple clips. Thanks, Anton. Oh, I just wasted that one. Should have spawn locked it. You know what? Uh, there are no stripper clips here. Hold on. We go to assault rifle. Really? Okay. Now that is strange. There should be stripper clips. Hmm. No. Okay, well, I'll have to reload the scene. But yeah, you saw how that worked. Basically, you can put stripper clips on. Let's put an influence on there. There you go. Just imagine there are bullets there. So yeah, this is the semi-auto civilian version, which is nice for rot wieners coming up. And this is a really cute BZ-58. Um... I don't know if there's any name associated with this. The Compact. There you go. So, basically a small version of these guns. Oh, I'm going to try this magazine. Let's try it. Slot. Pin. Let's put it to full auto. Ooh, lots of recoil on that one. Let me put a big magazine in there. Barely hitting those, uh, barely hitting the target there. All right, one handed, like in the uh, devlog video. Yeah, you're not gonna get anywhere with that. <laughs> Bandit style, or if you wanna, you know, if you wanna relate it to something nowadays, gangster style. A little bandit shooting for you. Um, I heard this one could be used with a stock, so let me actually check. Attachments. Let's put a vector stock. Oh, yes. That is pretty cool. This one doesn't, uh... No? Hmm. Huh. Let's see how effective that is. Let me... Another one. <laughs> These are actually... Not bad, bad. All right, cool. Look at the last one, and this is the tactical. I think this is what it's called. Let me check. Uh, apologies, I briefly checked out the update video because again, uh, it's we're having a lot of problems down here where I live. Lots of power outages. The rains are coming in. Uh, slow internet. 
Now what can you do? So this is the tactical. It's got like multiple rails. Um, looks very cool. Holding stock. Really nice. Ooh. Oh man, those shells flying out from the top. I'm trying. I'm firing from the hip, so you know, right about here. <laughs> those shells just hit me in the in the face, make me blink. It's weird how that happens in VR. But there you go. Oh, it's closed. So yeah, there's a tactical. You put um, a lot of different attachments on it. Let's let's try it out. Uh, the PK23. Put it on top here like that. That's nice. Put a uh, laser. Hmm. Tactical laser three on the bottom. Sure, why not? A little, uh. Okay. Hmm, what else? And, uh, let's do a clash lock. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, this might be a little too low. Take that off. And let's put up a rail riser. Oops. Okay, I can put that right there. It's right on top. There we go. Extend that stock. Let's try this again. I tricked out. Flashlight on. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, turn that off. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but my computer just, its fans just kicked on, so a lot of power right there, just with the lights. Okay, so yeah, pretty cool. I like it, you know? These are guns that they're not really well represented in a lot of media, and it's nice that the developer, Anton, decided to put them in the game. But that's not all. Oh, wait, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I meant return to main menu. Come on. All right, there we go. So, the other thing that Anton put in the game, as long as we can load into it, computer's working hard. Its fan is screaming. Come on, don't freeze on me now. Oh, there we go. Oh. Worried there for a minute. I thought it froze. Is that now? Oh, sorry. Move support grenade. We have fire. Yeah, this is a Molotov cocktail filled with um, this stuff. I'm not going to read that out because it's a lot. Okay, so I'm going to put this here and uh, let's spawn some so sigs. Let's make my computer sweat. up Take a little uh, a little bit of a uh, Molotov here oh no get back get back oh right, well it doesn't look as impressive as the devlog because I am actually playing on turbo potato so yeah if it doesn't look that good just well let's put it on ultra turn on the oh the bloom the uh, Ambient occlusion. Yeah, my computer is uh, not liking this, but Ooh, look at that glow. Oh. I think I can just light these Molotovs up with the um, thing in my quick belt, the uh, lighter. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that was bad. Let's make my computer sweat. Oh, oh direct hit. Yeah, so there's fire now. Oh, darn it. And uh, one of the new weapons is a Molotov cocktail that you can set things on fire with. <laughs> Actually having to throw this stuff in virtual reality is... <laughs> well, it's a lot more strenuous than most people think. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see if I can get it over the wall there. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. 
You can see the fire. It's all traveled. It's all in the devlog. You'll, you'll see it if you watch it. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, aside from the Molotov, now the um, Saucigs can actually get damaged by fire. So instead of having fancy fire effects, you can actually use the fire to damage them, which is pretty nice. I mean, just and spawn a ammo spawn panel. Put that up there. Put that down. Give me this. Uh, 12 gauge, 12 gauge, where are you? I missed it. There we go. 12 gauge, Dragon's Breath. It's a good example that he showed off in the video, but I'm going to do it here. But with an AA-12, because I like my automatic shotguns. Oh, I, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Let me just, uh, aim for the body. Okay. Sausage's on fire. No, start grilling him. Oh man, this performance is killing me. Let me go to the uh, thing here and uh, let's go back to medium. Let's go to turbo potato. I think the bloom is what makes it. Uh, but yeah, so you know. It's not gonna look as good since I turned everything off, but it's not what I'm caring about. I want performance. Oh, these guys aren't on fire. Let's change that. Oh, I didn't spawn. I didn't spawn lock it. I need to get more. Give me more Molotovs. These are fun. Okay. Well, they're fun right now. I'm, I'm having fun with them. I don't know how useful they will be in actual game purposes. Where did my gun go? Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Fire! Fire everywhere! I want more fire. Bring out the inner pyromaniac. Yeah, come on. Come on. Huh. Well, it didn't didn't work too well. well. The sounds will be changed uh, from what we said in the devlog, which is kind of funny because it sounds like a bomb going off. Turn it. Those guys are cooking. I need more fire. I need more fire. Burn. I wonder if you can actually just throw these. Oh, they just break. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you can also put them down gently. Just put it down. There we go. Move back. Oh, did I? Oh, there we go. And shoot them. So that's nice. A little improvised incendiary devices, I guess that's what we call them. And, um,. It's not just that either. You can use actual incendiary rounds. Let's go with uh, let's go with the pistol. Actually, let's try the new weapons. So go the SMG rifle, assault rifle, and the custom. There we go. Let's bring out a mag. And what does this fire? Seven point six two by thirty nine. Okay. Here, seven point six two by thirty nine. There you go. Incendiary. Blue tips, okay. Okay, throw this baby up. Now you can set them on fire with incendiary rounds. Oops. That's fast.
Fire. Fire everywhere. So yeah, I mean, this is all good stuff, man. This is all real good stuff. Especially the Molotovs. Now set people on fire. Oh my god! <laughs> what if I just throw one after... Oh. No. I need to throw it and then it hits. So I need to throw this one first. <laughs> that didn't work out. You just uh No, that didn't work out either. Come on. No. Hmm. Hard throwing in VR. There we go. Finally it went off. Okay. Good. Unleash your inner pyromaniac. Oops, get back. <laughs> Look how they stop, drop, and roll. Tarnation. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, he, he, his head exploded, but, well, you know. <laughs> I love how their heads just explode after a while. Like they've been on fire so much they just can't take it. This is ultra creepy just standing here watching them burn. Oh, he died. <laughs> I'm gonna watch you burn. I like this motion though. There's uh, Let me just clear out this area for a minute. Hold on. The scene. Clear all sausages. Spawn. Let's spawn 50 of them. And there's a motion, right? I'm using Arm Swinger, so basically, it's just like those like uh, photos you see when they're like riots and stuff, and you see the guy like with a hand out like this, and then a Molotov out. So it's like that. Ugh. <laughs> really bad aim, though. I need to practice my throwing. I actually want to try this uh, Molotov out in the, uh, the arena here, so let's try it. I mean, oh, let me clean up the scene. I always clean up, you know. Responsible. Responsible. Always clean up after yourself. Run, gotta run. Ooh, here we go. And uh, let me see. Uh, there's some new options here. I, I, I um, I was supposed to do a video, but again, recent problems have made it really hard, especially the internet connection side of things, so uploading is a little hard, but yeah, some new options here. You can now actually choose the armor, uh, uh, aside from the, you know, what they're, what they're uh, carrying, uh, how many there are, so I'll just do light, um, give them hmm, handguns, there we go. Six versus six. Handguns, light. I'm on team shot dogs. Give me, give me all that help. And let's go. Oops, wrong one. Ah. 
Ah, no. Get you guys on fire. Needs a little work. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I'm getting shot. You know what? I love the vertical shell ejection on this weapon. Molotovs are on fire. Well, I don't need this anymore, so you can go there. Whoops. Oh my god, I caught him on fire. Whoops. Sorry, teammate. Didn't mean to catch you on fire. Ah, it's so uncontrollable without the stock. I need to take the stock back out. Oh no. Get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. <laughs> Let's throw that magazine away. All right. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what's new in this update. I'm more, uh... I guess excited about Rise of the Rot Wieners, which is coming out on Halloween. Finally, we've got a got a release date. Oh, so that's coming out soon. Oh, I missed. Oh no, oh, my friend. Why? some good stuff <laughs> I just oh no I set him on fire sorry dude this is all just being just systems to be used in rise of the rotten years which is pretty awesome look at those traces oh no get get back so yeah I mean that's pretty much it in this update and it's pretty cool yeah, I better uh, jump out of this. Stop.
because I'm afraid there might be another power outage and um, yeah so stop recording right about now